Hey everyone, how's it going? Back today with another video. This video is actually just gonna be sort of a little bit of fun. Have a fun day, fun Sunday, because I actually recently hit 8,000 followers on Instagram, which is a huge achievement for me, and I'm really, really stoked about it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a mini 8,000 calorie food day, I guess you could say. It's not gonna be anything too serious. I'm not gonna sit there and film myself while I'm eating everything. Do a little bit of this fun eating day, and I'm going out firstly with the family to a local market and so I'm going to pick up some stuff there and I've also got food planned for tonight but it's more or less just sort of like a daily video daily vlog just for a little bit of fun on this weekend I won't bring the DSLR with me see I'm filming on the DSLR there but I will be bringing my G7X Mark II and so I'm going to be doing my filming on that and I can also shoot some slow-mo stuff as well so that's going to just be get some panoramic stuff with that, show you some great food of Launceston, and then, and see what else the rest of the door has, and see what else the rest of the day has in store. Off to the market, we go to the 8,000 calorie day, we go. Now at the market, we're gonna find some food. Good, how are you? Good. Oh man, the decisions. Like almond croissants are just the best. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Long way. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Almond croissant win. It's so much cheaper in the long run. Like, <laughs> Alright, so just finished off at the market now. I'm gonna head home, then eat some more food because I haven't eaten enough. Don't mind the dogs. Eat some more food before going to the gym. Because I need to eat 8,000 calories and I've only eaten like 400. When in doubt, buy a donut. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Um, Cobby's just grab. Those ones are chocolate cupcake with banana icing. Grab one of those, please. Thank you. I take away, thank you. Alright guys, now it's time to head to the gym. It's about 12.30 and I've only eaten like 300 calories. So I'm hitting up for the gym for my pre-workout is going to be Snickers White. Snickers White. Cheers to good snacks. If you've seen, I did an unboxing of this. Send me an epic parcel from Holland. Snickers White, it's about 240 calories with my shaker there. Um, it's gonna bring me to about 600 calories for the day. I'm gonna try this now. Damn. See you guys after the gym for epicness post-workout. Oh, that Snickers is so good. All right. Back from the gym. Firstly, I'll just have a shower before I eat anything. All right, much better. Now, I don't know if you can see that there. That right there is the next meal. So what we have is a whole box of Kellogg's S'mores cereal. What it is, is crunchy graham cereal topped with rich chocolate coating and marshmallows. So I'm gonna whole box this. In other words, eat the whole box of that. And then I've also got here Chips Ahoy, Birthday Frosting and Oreo cream field. Now I'm only gonna have half of each of these. That's 300 grams, which is about 1500 calories or so. So it's a fair bit in that. But what I'm gonna do is actually have half of the half now and have the other half of the half later on, if that makes any sense. Also, I'm gonna have half of this insane giant Reese's Pieces chocolate bar, 200 gram chocolate bar. I'm gonna have half of that as well with my snack. Gonna bring the total to like 1700 calories for one meal. Perfect, perfect option. Let's do it. More Reese's, look at this block. What is life? Oh, yeah. Here 
Here we go, Oreo cream field and birthday frosting field. Half now, half later. What? All those marshmallows. Kellogg's Smalls, 289 grams. Whole boxing done right. Excuse the background noise, but here we have more cereal here in the bowl, along with Chips Ahoy, Oreo Cream Field, and Birthday Frosted Field. Half of them here, and the Reese's. So that comes to about 2,500 calories, which I will be also making a coffee as well. Brings the total so far to about 3,200. Initial thoughts on Chips Ahoy birthday cake one, I think. Mmm. That reminds me of really weirdly large amount of birthday cake. Now we've got the Oreo one here. Oh, damn. That's much better. Really, really Oreo-y, which is always a bonus. Now, the OG Reese's chocolate block. So much peanut butter, so much chocolate. That's gonna, I reckon that's gonna kill me tonight. That is so strong. First thoughts on the s'mores cereal from Kellogg's. Got a marshmallow in there. Mm. Look, it's not bad, but I certainly wouldn't rave about it. You can certainly get like a bit of a multi taste with the marshmallows. So it is similar to s'mores, but it's not really chocolatey. I think if it was more chocolatey, it would be perfect. But anyway, hey, I'm going to eat this 2,500 calories and the coffee, of course, and then get back to you guys later on. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, by the way, it's about quarter to seven, quarter to seven in the evening. I've eaten about, what did it come to? I think 3,500 calories or so. So I've got about four and a half thousand calories to fill. I was gonna make a big as pizza, but I've had pizza quite a lot lately. And one thing I haven't had for a while is pasta. So what I'm gonna make today is using Veta High Protein Low Carb Pasta. I'm gonna make sort of like a Bolognese style. Got about 150 grams of kangaroo mince here. We've got a ton of veggies over there and I'm also gonna have that with a Caesar salad and some roast pumpkin. Should be probably about 2,500 calories, this dish. So loaded with calories, it's gonna be super delicious. We'll see how we go. Pasta time. As you can see, it's coming along pretty damn well. So now it's time to add the sauce. Now, the next step is to grab about 500 grams of pumpkin. That's all the pumpkin I had left, so let's hope it's nearly 500 grams. Yeah, pretty close. And then we're gonna cut them into wedges. Chuck on, oh, I'm feeling maybe tandoori. And you've got yourself in the oven, tandoori pumpkin wedges. Oh yes. Pasta sauce is done and looking damn incredible. The pasta is now done, I'm just gonna drain that quickly. Go and look at these wedges. Wedges in there. Now that in there. Mozzarella for the wedges. A little bit of basil on top to make it pretty. And a quick store bought Caesar salad because I'm lazy. There you have Caesar salad, about 300 calories. Roasted pumpkin, had a little bit of capsicum I did chuck in as well. With some mozzarella cheese, which is about 250, 300 calories. And then a big, big pasta dish here. With all of the good stuff. And that's about 2,000 calories. So the total for this enormous meal here comes to about 2,500 or 2,600 calories. I'm gonna go and eat this up. Hopefully I can finish it so I can get on to dessert. Brace yourselves for dessert, guys. Brace yourselves for dessert. 
All right, guys, so I'm back. As you can see, salad bowl is all empty. Damn, they were good pasta. Little bit of room for dessert. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rest of the Chips Ahoy cookies and the rest of the Reese's block there. I don't know if you guys remembered, but I got the donut earlier on. Oh, uh, not the donut. I didn't have any donuts. So I got the cupcake. This cupcake, if you heard properly, hopefully it didn't just fall over. It's banana and chocolate. And here it is here. She's looking damn tasty. Now, I know this is being generous with the calories. I'm gonna say she's 300 calories. That's just because of all of that sugar icing on top, as you can see. That's a lot of sugar icing. Along with this Reese's block, which is another 500, and the rest of the Chips Ahoy, which is 635. And what I'm also going to do, grab this incredible ice cream here. So I'm gonna have this connoisseur ice cream already been opened, as you can see. What I'm gonna do though, got the scales on here. I'm gonna say this container weighs roughly five grams, five to 10 grams. Comes off to about 335, so let's say it's 330 grams of ice cream in there. The servings on there, it brings it to about 990 calories. Chips away cookies, Reese's, banana chocolate muffin, rest of the connoisseur sweet butter and pretzel ice cream i think that's got me set for the rest of the night guys hope you all enjoyed this 8,000 calorie day. I know you guys can probably say, oh, you didn't eat all the food. Trust me, I did eat all the food. I'm definitely gonna eat that dessert now. There's not much there, so I'm definitely gonna get through it. That comes to about, I think it's 8,100 calories. So I did hit the 8,000 calorie mark. And it was plus, it was just a nice fun day. A nice fun day to get back into filming again. Being happy about reaching 8,000 followers on Instagram. So I wanna give a huge thank you to you guys for supporting me on Instagram, supporting me on the YouTube channel. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button that like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and also be sure to follow me on instagram and snapchat at lewis underscore eats and also on my newest instagram as well which i'm doing food around tasmania at lewis underscore eats underscore local and remember guys don't be afraid to learn explore and try new things i'm gonna go and eat this insanity that is dessert catch you later